Now, family and friends are saying goodbye to Sam DuBose. He's the man killed by a University of Cincinnati police officer. That service is just getting underway right now at the Church of the Living God on Forest Avenue. That's in Avondale. As this funeral is held, there are so many questions as the case against Officer Ray Tensing goes to the grand jury tomorrow. Not on your side, Allie Kramer is live outside the church where the visitation has been going on the last hour and a half. Allie, who have we seen there today? Well, Tanya, the emotion out here today is just palpable. There is heartache, there is anger, and just that enormous sense of loss. There have been people gathered outside the church for several hours now this morning, all coming to pay their final respects. Now, as many of them are here to say their final goodbye today, they still cannot forget how Sam died and, and what's still to come. No, no, no. Police stop killing my people. Stop killing my people. Now that a group of Sam's friends rapping outside of the church, they tell us Sam was a talented musician, someone that used his talents to help others. Now the line, it was wrapped around the church this morning. Friends and family all coming to pay their respects to Sam. UC President Santa Ona was among the first visitors. Also city manager Harry Black and members of the Cincinnati Police Department also present today. Now one friend tells us that Sam actually grew up just around the corner from here and his loss will have an enormous impact here on the community. He liked to have fun, and he wanted to smile and the fun to be in his aura. He wanted to be around people who were laughing and playing and joking. Oh, everybody wanted to be around Sam. He was a great guy. He was a great father. He was a great person. He was a great friend. He was a great brother. Now, Sam's mother actually wrote a letter to him today in the program, and I want to read a part of it for you. It says, I will work to clear your name today. The truth about who you are and why you were killed will shine through, Sam. It must. So family members, of course, still pushing for justice and still pushing for those answers as uh, on a day like today where they are trying to lay their son to rest. Reporting live, Allie Kramer, 9 on your side. Thank you, Allie. The DuBose family has brought in high-powered defense attorney Mark O'Mara. He's best known for representing George Zimmerman in Florida. O'Mara tells us Sam's sister called him this week after seeing his work on CNN. Now, while he's in town, he wants to meet with Prosecutor Joe Dieters and other city and county leaders. His biggest goal is to get the body camera video. The video that has prompted protests for the past week. And he says if the family doesn't get the answers they deserve, it will only fuel the anger in the community. The family wants two things. They want dignity for themselves and for Sam and his death. And they want transparency. They want to know what happened to him, first the what, and then the why. Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieter says we could see that body camera video of the incident by the end of the week. During an interview, excuse me, interview with 700 WLW yesterday, Dieters told Bill Cunningham, no one is protecting anyone in this investigation. He called the video the best piece of evidence in the case, saying the grand jury will see it tomorrow.